Hey guys, so in this video I'm gonna do a speed test between iOS 10 versus iOS 11 Gold Master Edition. So we do have the 5S currently on iOS 10.3.3, the latest of the greatest of iOS the release yet. And this is iOS 11 beta 10, so developer beta 10. Right? Now I'm not clickbaiting you guys. We're gonna do a speed test of the 5S running iOS 11 and the iPod Touch 6G on iOS 10, right? So currently this thing on is considered beta 10, the latest public beta. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna restore this iPod Touch from 10 point to, from 11 beta, beta 10 to 10.3.3 and we're gonna update this iPhone 5S. So let me see, let me show you guys, this is a 5S, you can see there. No SE branding there. So we're gonna update this 5S from 10.3.3 to iOS 11, Gold Master Edition. And we're gonna find out what's changed between the Beta 10 and the latest GM. All right, let's go. All right, so I do got all the devices connected to a computer. I do run out of uh, lightning cables, so I get to use a 30 pin to lightning adapter for this thing, but it is what it is. As you can see here, this iPod is connected to this Windows computer, so you can see there. iTunes will restore your iPod to 10.3.3, we want that. And we got this 5S here, that is connected to my Mac, which is never allowed, there we go. And it is updating to iOS 11 Gold Master Edition. Alright, so all of them are on the prom right now. We're gonna do the speed test of which one is goes into the setups, the setup app or the setup screen first. Is it iOS 11 on the 5S or iOS 10.3.3 on the iPod Touch 6? All right, so let's go. All right, so remember restoring to 10.3.3, updating to 11 Gold Master Edition. Let's hit the restore and update button. And let's click it at the same time in three, two, one. All right, so they're now both extracting the software and I will be right back with you guys. Wow, surprisingly, the iPod Touch finished first. Meanwhile, while it's extracting the firmware, it takes super duper long. Now I do have a time here. Copyright music, goddammit iTunes. All right, so I do have a stopwatch here that counts how long the break is between iOS 11 and iOS 10. Thank you iTunes, I might get a copyright strike from that. All right, so let's see how long it is. Okay, we are basically on the setup screen of both of these devices, iOS 11, iOS 10.3.3, and we're going to do immediately a speed test on the setup screen, so just uh, let's go. Alright, so we are on the setup screen, the setup has been finished on both iOS 11 iOS 10.3.3. Let's go ahead get started in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so iOS 11 actually opened up first time, the quickest. Let's open up the brand new control center in 3, 2, 1. Okay, they're way faster. And this basically the same speed in here. It's a brightness here. Turn the brightness. Alright, clear the app switcher. Let's see if we do have any app switcher here. Nope, we don't have nothing. You see there, nothing. So uh, we're gonna do immediately quick boot up tests. Let's see which one is a button. All right, so I think it turned off right now. So we're gonna boot up in three, two, one. A7 versus A8 lower cross lower clock speed. 
iOS 11, iOS 10.3.3. Oh, they're actually supposed to be the same there, but unfortunately the Apple logo blinked. If the Apple logo was not blinking, it will be the same, the same speed literally, but they're not. Which is kind of sad. Okay, so 10.3.3 on the Apple Touch 6G does boot up the first. I'm gonna wait for this guy, minus 11. Seems forever. Alright, so here we are on the uh, iOS 11, finally boots up. Alright, so let me open up the passcode. Okay, here we are, greeted with iOS 11, so immediately doing a speed test. So let first up, uh, first step, let's open up the settings app in 3, 2, 1. Okay, definitely the iPad Touch does it faster. Let's open up submenus in 3, 2, 1. iOS 11 or the 5S, let's go to about in 3, Three, okay, three, two, one. This time iOS 11 is faster. You can see there, 10.3.3, 11.0, the GM build. Now, this is not only the thing that's new in the GM build, is the brand new wallpaper. So let's go to wallpaper here. We do as a new a photo. You can see there, we got the globe to represent the new iPhone X OLED panel and some of the flowers and all that. It's pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. I guess. Okay. So we're gonna open up. Next up, we're gonna open up the messages app in three, two, one. Okay. This one actually first because it doesn't have anything. So the calendar up in three, two, one. Again, iOS ten on the app. At the app touch is faster. Don't allow. Don't allow. Okay. Let's open up the camera app in three, two, one. Again, iOS 10 on the Apple Touch is faster. Look how the lag is on there. Let's just restart that again here. Let's open the camera app again in 3, 2, 1. It's still open up faster on the Apple Touch 6G on iOS 10. Let's open up the weather app in 3, 2, 1. Again, Apple Touch on iOS 10. Drew the weather way faster also for this iOS 11. And then we're gonna open up the clock app in three, two, one. You can see there again, faster on iOS 10. Let's open up, let's see the Safari app in three, two, one. Again, way faster on iOS 10. Let's open up the notification center or we call the cover sheet now in three, two, one. Oh, that's a noticeable lag on the iPhone 5S. Let's try that again in three, two, one. Okay, now that's which, which way better. Again, I really like this UI, but it is what it is. Okay, now we're gonna do another wrap here. We're gonna open up the calendar, not the calendar, the calculator from the control center. Let's open it up in three, two, one. Again, way faster on the iOS 10. Let's open up the extras folder. See there, no lag after that, I guess. Okay. So we're gonna open up voice memos in three, two, one. We'll launch way, way faster on the iOS 10 again, just like we predicted it to be. We're gonna open up find my iPhone in three, two, one. Way faster again on iOS 10. And yeah, now we're gonna do a quick app downloading speed test. So we're gonna go to the app store here of web-based applications. So we're gonna go to the new app store versus old app store, and we're gonna download Geekbench, and we're gonna see how the Geekbench score is, all right? Let's uh, see what Bluetooth here. In three, two, one. Wow. Let's see. Old App Store is still loading way faster versus the new App Store. Right, let's go immediately go to search. Let's download it in three, two, one. That works. Okay. Benches open up. Well, Geek Benches open up some of iTunes here. So up in three, two, one. Load up everything down here faster and I was send the Apple Touch 6G. And it, the first one is of course iOS 10 on the Apple Touch 6G. 
but I for so far I played with the six with the iPhone 5s when I was 11 and I don't I don't really whoop that's that <laughs> I was about to say there's not that much difference of lag but I guess that's lag right there <laughs> there's some lag right there but uh yeah I don't think there is that much you can see here everything still runs smoothly when I was 11 and uh, Geekbench app is downloaded let's uh close everything up in the uh, app switcher one thing, about, like, I, one, one thing that I like about iOS 11 is when you swipe everything all on the air, it will immediately go back to the, the home screen. Right. So let's open up Geekbench in 3, 2, 1. Right, as you can see there, Apple Touch 7.1, 10.3.3, 8.1, 1.1, A7, and 1.3. Right, so we're going to do a CPU benchmark in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so the iPod Touch 6G with iOS 10 is finished with score of 1359 of multi or single core and 2290 in multi core score. I'm gonna wait for the 5S here, which is done in a little bit. And here it is 1263 and 2270. You can see there is not that much difference, but they're still catching up, which is amazing between iOS 10 and iOS 11 and 5S and the iPod Touch 6G. Alright. Alright guys, so that's a quick little hands-on, quick little not alert guys, so that's a, this full speed test of iOS 10 on iOS, up to iOS 10 on the iPod 6G and iOS 11 GM on the 5S, let me know you guys in the comments is any more specific videos that you want me to do and want me to cover like this, maybe some more in-depth hands-on on the 5S on iOS 11, I mean how is it, how is the battery level and all that, I will probably share that to you guys in the future. But that is the video for now. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.